Hi everyone, this is Ivo. Today I will introduce how to use Delta AX Eastern AIP and the MOPAS TCP communication. You can see the system architecture here. Uh, AXA uh, works as an Eastern AIP scanner and TCP master. And AX218 works as an Eastern AIP adapter and um, TCP slab. You can see we also add on the EtherCAD remote I.O. So today uh, I will show you how to use the uh, data register from POC uh, to control the output of uh, remote I.O. Then how to establish the connection and check the IP. As uh, so here you can see for the POC default IP is uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and this one is uh, 0.1.10. And you may wonder why here we uh, connect to the uh, second uh, LAN port. So here I will show you uh, how to connect uh, First, uh, when you open the project, then we double click your device and then click uh, communication setting and then we uh, scan the network. Okay, after uh, that, you can check the IP address of our second LAN port is uh, point one point ten, and the first LAN port is uh, point zero point ten. Actually, if you want to use the first port, then you just modify the IP. But first, just let you know, if for the first time you link to the AXA, the default IP for here is uh, second port is a point one point ten. Then here I will show you how to uh, add on the Ethernet for Ethernet IP and MOBAS TCP step by step. And also we'll uh, briefly show you the EtherCAD uh, remote IO how to add on. So you can see for the uh, first step, we have to add on the uh, up device uh, under uh, AXA. Then we can select the Ethernet. Uh, after we add on the Ethernet, then we can add a, a Ethernet IP scanner. Then we can add on the Ethernet IP adapter. And here, because uh, this is Delta product, so we already add on the AS uh, POC inside. Then we will uh, add a uh, MOBAS TCP master and then a uh, MOBAS TCP slab. Okay, after that, uh, we click the uh, EtherCAD and add on device. So, first we select the uh, 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 coupler. Then I will back to the software and show you. So, uh, as I mentioned, this one we use the uh, Linux, so we use the structure text. Okay, then we uh, click here and click uh, scan network. So once this one become green, that means we already uh, established the connection. And I can show you here the, for the IP address. After that, if you still remember, we will add on the device uh, for Ethernet. So here we click the Ethernet adapter and click Ethernet. Uh, after that, we have the uh, Ethernet here and add on device for the EIP scanner. And I think I also add on the TCP master. Okay, after that, we can go to the Ethernet IP scanner and add on device again for the device we connected. So here we select X two eighteen TX. After that, we move to uh, TCP and select a TCP slab, and we continue to add on the uh, EtherCAD uh, remote I/O. So click the first one, and we can find a, a system coupler. We add on this first, then we move to. Uh, Coupler and add the device again. For the digital input, uh, we use uh, this one and digital output. Okay, uh, after that, we back to the slide. And here we'll show you how to uh, set the IP address. Uh, because uh, the AX said we use the IP address is uh, point one point ten. So remember to uh, set, uh, do this setting, and then come to the EIP uh, scanner. Then this one is for 
the auto uh, reconnection and for the MOBAS TCP uh, master. Okay, and then we can uh, set the IP address adapter and the TCP slab uh, because uh, today, as an example, we use the AX218 and the IP I already uh, explained uh, earlier. Okay, now uh, we back here. So remember, uh, click here to se select the interface. Okay, after that, uh, we go to Ethernet IP, then the mobile TCP, and remember to uh, click uh, auto reconnect. After that, we modify the IP address of Ethernet IP adapter, and then uh, we go to TCP. Okay, after that we have to do the uh, data setting. So this one is kind of a data exchange function. So first one is for the Ethernet IP, so you can see here we got the input and output. And the unit here is a byte, so that means a 100 word. And we, for the uh, starting address is uh, D1000, and for the output is mapping to uh, D2000 of uh, ASPOC. Then come to the TCP portion. As you can see here, we use the read, and the address here is zero. That means uh, D zero, okay. And this one uh, hexadecimal six uh, sixty four. So that means D one hundred. And we define the uh, data length is one hundred word, okay. And later we can uh, define the variable mapping. So let's go back to the software. So we can uh, uh, click the connection, and then you can see the mapping data is over here, and we modify to 2000. This one is uh, up to your application. I, here I just give you an example, and you may wonder how to edit the API or something, so you can uh, just Click the ed edit uh, connection so you can find this information, the API, the timeout, and the connection type. Okay. After that, we uh, click OK. And you can define the variable. Uh, oh, sorry, we'll let's do it later. And then we come to the TCP. And now we add on. So first we use the read, and this address is D0, so we define 100. And then we add on for the multiple writes. So we select the function call 16, and the address, we, we define 100. OK. Then we back to the word file. So here we will uh, define the variable for Ethernet IP. We define the uh, remote I/O input to the first uh, first part of first uh, input, and we can define the uh, status uh, read DI to map the status uh, from uh, remote I/O module to the Ethernet IP communication. Then come to uh, TCP parts. We define a digital output. Let's say a POC get the status uh, from uh, AX8. So here actually we will define to the input. Now I will show you why uh, we use the uh, MOBUS address zero uh, because uh, we map the data to a uh, data register and you can see the hexadecimal address uh, start from zero. Okay, then now uh, let's back to the software. So this one, as I mentioned, uh, we will map the map the data to uh, POC. So 
we, uh, sorry, we should define the input and output first. So first, first of all, we de define the input. Okay, here we define the R1 uh, EC remote I/O input one, and then we can define the output to the uh, first output, also R1. Okay, so we define the output and then we define this variable in the Ethernet IP and the TCP. And today I uh, just use a TCP as example and you can do the same way uh, for Ethernet IP. So now we click this one and define a right DO. Okay, after that, let's uh, write a simple program. Okay, so that means we will keep the status of from a POC. Uh, to control the output of uh, remote I/O, then we uh, can uh, download the program. In the uh, in the uh, meantime, we can open the ISP shop, check the connection status. And then we can uh, add on an empty POU. Then we create the device monitoring table. And here we use the D0 and switch online. Okay, so as you see here, the default status is uh, stop. So we Enter the wrong mode. Okay. So here you can see now is the uh, true. So the output will on. So you can see here, and then we back to the ISP shop and change the value to zero, and we back to the codices. So you can now it's become off, and we can check the program. Is a uh, false. So that's all for today's uh, introduction. Thank you.